Rob. Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues and hopefully you can tell that this is something special other than just Wonder Woman here. Hopefully that this thing here, maybe not your computer screen, but the actual video camera here, hopefully you can tell that it's new, it sounds different, it looks different. Uh, this was my gift to myself from Uncle Sam for paying those taxes that we have to pay every year. Uh, we got a nice little return back so I decided to upgrade the camera. Um, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve with this and hopefully that there was an intro slide and music again like I used to have on my channel. Uh, my old camera was a Sony Bloggy. I love that camera. I'm going to be still using that from time to time. Maybe doing more of just uh, point, aim, and shoot, like news segments and things like that. But hopefully for all my reviews, I'll be doing it on this particular camera. Uh, Sony Handycam, not that you guys need to know that. But let me know in the comments of what you think, how things sound, and all that type of stuff. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve as I figure out more of this as we go and other things that we can do. And I can go, oh, I can do this, I can do that. So uh, bear with me for a little bit. Uh, from time to time, you're going to be seeing this video camera being used and my Sony Bloggy. Uh, most of my Batman animated series videos are all completely shot, so those are on the old camera. So you'll kind of get this flip-flop back and forth of style just a little bit. So you can bear with me. But Wonder Woman is the first official thing that I'm shooting with a new camera. So we'll see how it goes. Enough rambling about the camera. That's not why you clicked into this. You clicked in because of Wonder Woman here. She is just now, I think, supposed to be hitting retail. I have seen some people review her already from picking her up at Toys R Us. Uh, Chapman Films got her really early, and I can't remember exactly where he picked her up from. Uh, he just kind of gave me that information. Mine did come from Big Bad Toy Store, and uh, I found it kind of ironic that, you know, I ordered her back in November, I think is how long it has been since I place this order so it's it's been a while knowing that with pre-orders they're trying to generate enough interest and everything like that to the figure as I am sorry turning on lights here as I'm forgetting stuff um, <laughs> so uh, just this last Tuesday or maybe maybe a week ago now I was kind of getting curious of like almost little ants in the pants trying to see if I'm gonna get get her or not and I started seeing other people slowly reviewing her. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to contact Big Bad Toy Store. I emailed them on a Tuesday. And then the following Wednesday, I got an email that said, yep, the figures are in. Uh, we just got them in the warehouse, and we're going to be processing your order. So that makes me wonder, had I not emailed you on that Tuesday, the following Wednesday, almost exactly 24 hours later, you're replying and saying that the figure... The figures are in. That makes me go, had I not? Did I get lost in the shuffle? Did they actually, in fact, happen to just come in? So um, I got her uh, this past Saturday. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I was real excited to get her out of the package, but we had a completely busy weekend, so it wasn't until midnight Sunday that I actually got her out of package, and I did take a few uh, photos of her and put them on my uh, YouTube or my Facebook account, so you can go check her out over there, and I have all of her box art if you want to see her in package. But let's take a look at the rest of the package here. Um, this will be standard, I should say standard, uh, bear with me the camera, getting a new camera to work here. Uh, DC Comics Unlimited is where Wonder Woman comes from, and I just love this packaging. Again, I think I'm going to have to get one of these figures and leave them in package, because... I just think Mattel has done an excellent job on the packaging. And it is definitely something that catches your eye when you see it on the store shelves. Unless, you know, you're pre-ordering it from uh, <laughs> online places, then you'll never really get to experience what it looks like in a store. But you can see Wonder Woman down there. And this is from the, I believe this is Justice League um, 3, I think, from the New 52. Wonder Woman's first um, appearance in the Justice League comic. And you can see another image over there. You can see Wonder Woman back there. Hello. Uh, the read-up. Bear with me again as we do some uh, little adjusting here. 
It says, uh, naturally confident, strong-willed, and compassionate, Wonder Woman is the princess, is Princess Diana of the immortal Amazons from Greek mythology. And when an army pilot, Steve Trevor, crashes on the secluded island paradise, Themerisia, if I'm saying that wrong, please, please forgive me, uh, Diana is compelled to experience the outside world. With superhuman strength, stamina, and the ability to fly, Wonder Woman is a warrior for peace who embodies beauty, intelligence, and equality. So there's the rest of the package as I do a little sliding there. So again, I'm going to be apologizing profusely uh, with the new camera, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the images that you are seeing. So her statistics here. It says, uh, real name, Princess Diana of Thamrysia. Sorry for uh, botching that. It's not like Gotham City, Metropolis, Star City. No, we got to have something different. Uh, <laughs> occupation, Ambassador of Peace, Hero. So it would be great to be an Ambassador of Peace. You know, just get to kind of walk around going, peace, man, peace. Uh, <laughs> location, New York City. Again, her home world. You try to pronounce it. See? Even you had a hard time with it. Uh, powers, abilities, and skills here. Rob, get it in frame. Uh, superhuman strength, speed, agility, bracelets that deflect bullets, and, of course, the lasso of truth. Who wouldn't want to be tied up by Wonder Woman? Um, the other figures from this wave are... Well, we'll get to this guy last. Would be Shiny Batman, which the waves kind of move in and out, as you'll see. They'll kind of slide in one figure and bring in another one. So they've brought in two extra figures for this wave, so uh, technically they're not counting shiny Batman in this wave. He's currently out. So every wave, another two figures will come in, so it's not like... It would kind of be nice if they would just done like the Dark Knight Rises and kind of move the list up, but anyway. And then Injustice Batman. I cannot wait for this video game. I already have the demo on my PS3. I have... I pre-ordered it from Walmart. I'm getting the Arkham City skins. I really want to get the new 52 skins for these characters. But I think this figure looks horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, part of me wants to pick it up because it's Batman. If it was Robin, I'd be all over it. Uh, the Batman figure, I saw this personally at Toys R Us. He does not look this good art, in art-wise. I think the sculpt is... Atrocious is the only word I can use. If you ever see me review it, it'll be because I got him really cheap or I broke down. A part of me would like to have it just to add to bat my Batman collection. But again, it's... Uh, Stu reviewed the Superman figure, and I think he's a much better looking figure than the Injustice Batman figure. Uh, somebody else can let me know. Uh, Seha Man reviewed him. Um... It was kind of funny. He really didn't know what he was reviewing, that he was from the video game, um, and why he looked the way that he did, but that is why. Uh, it's something I may have to think about, Hi Wonder Woman. So, at, at this moment, I am not impressed by this figure at all, so I'm probably going to pass on it. But, enough of that. Let's get to the woman of the hour. And that is the new 52. Let's get some light here, extra little bit of light. There we are. Uh, the new 52 DC Comics Unlimited Wonder Woman. And again, uh, apologizing in advance for some of the camera movement as I am. I am new here, all right? Just lay off. So I got to tell you, I absolutely love her. Hey, get her in the viewfinder here, Rob. Such an amazing sculpted Wonder Woman. And I do not own the DC... Uh, DC, you see Wonder Woman from Wave, God, what is that, 3, 2 maybe? Um, I can't remember what Collect and Connect pieces she came with. But I have, I've seen enough people review her and seen pictures of her online. I think this face sculpt buries the original Wonder Woman so much better. Such a beautiful face sculpt. I think she has just enough tint in her hair of blue that it really kind of works. Now, some people may, I mean, camera's really picking up the blue. So in person, of course, I've got a really good zoom lens on this thing. It is really picking up the blue, but in person, it is it is not that striking, so you don't have to worry about that. But that's the nice thing about cameras. They really show imperfections, or they show perfections really well. Uh, she is a little sleeker, skinnier. 
She's been watching her weight a lot more than the other Wonder Woman. I think that's par for the course on all of these figures from the DC Comics line. Uh, Mattel just kind of re-sculpted things a little bit more. Love the new blue. I am digging the new Wonder Woman costume. Um, the only thing that I'm going to get into a, a bad thing <laughs> right now is where the sword is attached. I think Chapman Films says it looks like she's pooping out something there. <laughs> Uh, I just would have had this on the other side, or had the little sheath thing that the sword goes in, I would have moved this up here a little bit more. Um, I mean, I get what they were trying to do. I wouldn't have painted it blue. I would have painted it silver, and I, I just would have moved it off to the side. I know in the comics, she carries it behind her back, but I think it's more like this. So it should be more like a backpack type of accessory than a ass accessory or a butt accessory. But I, I can let that slide. From the front, you know, you don't hardly notice it. And to be honest, how many of us are going to have our figures standing like this on our shelf? Yeah, I get if you're doing some ABC, ABC, ACBA poses. Man, that's hard to say. Um, maybe you don't want Wonder Woman standing with her back to the camera, but it's still, I think most of us are going to have our figures on our shelf, and that's just the way we're going to have them. So, I just I think she's done very, very well. And I was waiting for this to come in to do my top 10 of, uh, my top 10 Mattel DC Universe figures. So, she is definitely going to be in a part of the top 10, and I can tell you right now, she's probably going to be in my top 5. I like her this much already. Um, I would say she has standard DCUC articulation, but she don't. She's kind of missing um, a standard DCUC articulation. Uh, again, like the other Wonder Woman, her because of her hair, uh, she really has no head articulation. It definitely feels like there's head articulation, but with all this hair, she's not going to be able to move. So, uh, that is a little bit of a bummer, but, again, unless you're somebody that's going to be posing the figure quite a bit, um, I think most of us are going to get them on our shelves, get them in a pose, and then just leave them there. But, it is it is a little bit of a downer that they haven't figured out how to give us head articulation with female figures that have all this hair. So, uh, take that as you will. Again, like all the standard DCUC women out there, such tiny little arms, but these don't feel as uh, frail and brittle as some of the other ones in the past. Uh, she does have the arm here that moves um, up at the bicep. Again, this is where a lot of people end up breaking their female figures, so I caution you to be very careful. Has an arm, an arm, an elbow bend, and she does turn at the wrist. No lasso articulation. You know, uh, just a uh, molded piece of plastic. They could have done something like this here and hooked the lasso on there so you could have had the lasso in her hand. I have some, seen some people cut the lasso off and you can buy some gold uh, string and uh, wiring that does look like the lasso. So I've some, seen some people do that. I'm not going to. kind of want the figure to stay in really good condition. Um she has, uh, I don't mean to do this, I'm not trying to be the pervert, but she has a the new standard, let's get her in frame here, uh, sorry guys, and girls, but she has a new standard, I should say a new standard, a new T-joint, it's not out here. Most, some DCUC uh, figures, women did have this joint, but I believe all of them now are going to have this. So again there, so you kind of see where the joint is in there, and she pivots up in that joint as well so she does get a decent amount I do have a little bit of blue as you can see in her thigh area where things are kind of speckled a little bit but hey you're not gonna see much of it turns at the thigh bends at the knee no boot articulation but she does have a foot so uh, the other piece that's sorry guys that's missing here I knocked her sword out there is no ab crunch. I believe the other Wonder Woman did have an ab crunch, but this is the upper ab twist. So that's where her twist comes into effect. So a little bit different. 
And I believe the other one did have uh, the app crunch as well. So she comes with her sword here. So she does hold it really good. And she can hold it in both hands fairly well. It's just a rubbery plastic. I think she actually holds it better in her left hand as opposed to her right hand. Uh, speaking of Wonder Woman and swords, let's bring up her DC Collectibles counterpart. Now, this sword right away, if anybody is wondering, is from my Hawk Girl that I got with a Gentleman's Ghost. And I got this Wonder Woman with the Justice League 7 pack, so I did not get her as a single cartridge figure, so I didn't get her sword. But here you can see the two together. Obviously, both of them new 52. And. Of course, there's their height size. So, of course, the DC Collectibles is going to be much taller, so she's not going to be in scale with your DC UC figures at all. But it's kind of nice to see the two. Um, right away, the Mattel has given us more of her blue bikini trunks than the DC Collectibles did. The lassos look very much the same. The headbands look very close to each other and their breastplates look very very close to each other I think the DC Collectibles is sporting just a little bit bigger cup size than the uh, Mattel version but hey there you go and their hair is both uh, pretty much the same uh, same in highlights and same for not letting you be able to pose the figure. Um, I gotta tell you, I think I like the Mattel face sculpt a little bit more. They're going to be re-releasing re this Wonder Woman a couple different times with a new head sculpt. One in a two-pack with Katana and then a Trinity pack with Superman and Batman and she will have the new head sculpt on. But I think Mattel really did a good job on the face sculpt. Um, kind of a little cartoony with the eyes but uh, I think this Mattel face has a little bit more character than the DC collectibles. To me, it's like comparing two cars. You're comparing the, you know, Maserati with the Mattel, you know, I don't know, <laughs> just a car. Um, the sculpting is usually wins out from DC collectibles, but every once in a while, Mattel throws us a curveball and gives us a really good looking figure. I think proportionate wise, Wonder Woman on DC Collectibles does look better proportionate to the rest of her body. Uh, the Mattel one does look a little bit too skinny in some places, but I gotta tell you, I like the head sculpt on the Mattel just a little bit better. Uh, the new DC Collectibles Wonder Woman New 52 that's coming out, I think will have a much better head sculpt than this one. So the last thing I want to bring up is the rest of the boys in the band here. From the new 52, let's uh, back out here just a little bit. So let's bring up, I don't know, her new love interest. We got Superman. We've got the Flash. Batman. And Hawkman's always going to be so big. Don't get me wrong, I love Hawkman, but he takes up so much room from all the other figures. These are the current figures that we have from the New 52 from Mattel. So if you are kind of rebuilding your Justice League, or if you're somebody like me, this is the first Wonder Woman that I have. So I've had the Donna Troy uh, kind of being the stand-in between Superman and Batman on my shelf. And I now officially can have Wonder Woman and I can move uh, Diana Troy with the Teen Titans or maybe up to my Young Justice shelf. I meant to bring out over Diana Troy so you can kind of see the height scale between this Wonder Woman and the DCUC Diana Troy. And this Wonder Woman is still just a little bit taller than Diana Troy. So if you kind of do what I do sometimes and put like Superboy with Superman or Batman with Robin or Kid Flash with Flash, you could do that with Diana Troy, Wonder Girl, and uh, it works in height scale. I do as Superman looks like he's like, hmm, I don't know. Just means his head really tilted. Yeah, you'll have that. But I think Mattel, again, is off to a very, very good start. Uh, Aquaman is the next of the 
uh, DC Unlimited figures that's going to be coming out for the new 52. I'm really toying with get, getting Aquaman just so I can have an Aquaman on my Young Justice shelf and then an Aquaman down with my Justice League type figures. I haven't decided yet. But I do think for the most part Mattel is off to a very, very good start with the new 52 figures. And uh, some people have been on the fence about the new 52, but seeing them in figure form is really good. Yes, some of these figures don't uh, hold a candle to to their DC Collectibles counterpart, but I still look at it as two different things. If you want posability and articulation, you're going to go with DC, or excuse me, with Mattel, but with DC Collectibles, you're getting sometimes a much better sculpt, and they're getting up to the uh, articulation, uh, kind of rivaling with uh, Mattel at the moment, but I do think for the most part, these new 52 figures are working. So that's going to do it for Wonder Woman. I can't wait to get this video on my camera to see uh, how it's uh, going to work. So uh, right now we're going to end the review. Today we've been taking a look at Wonder Woman from the DC Comics Unlimited Mattel line. And as always, this is Rob for, there we go, Rob's Rogues. Signing off saying we will see you guys next time.